good morning to you there, Undercover. Hey, Mr. Undercover, top of the day to you over there on the Oklahoma side. Oh, squeaker out here on the center of the West Coast. Break a break. Yes, sir. And in fine style, too. Hey, undercover, you're in fine style. Ain't no doubt about it, even if you were pointed the other way. You sound good out here. I just, uh, I heard you thought I'd just drop it down, say, top of the, top of the morning. Tell the pretty one, happy Valentine's Day, and I hope things are going good back there, Bray. Changed. I knew I keyed too long. <laughs> hey, undercover, Mother Nature changed, and, and everything fell in the mix. But I did want to wish you a happy, a happy afternoon, and I'll catch you again. Undercover, old squeaker, center of the West Coast, small station, bottom of the valley, got on down. Squeaker, you say you got a small station and a big reputation. Hey, Squeaker, that's what I think about you. You might have a small station, but you got a big reputation. What do you think about that? I don't know if it's a big reputation, maybe a bad one. I might have a bad reputation there, Brick. Well, certainly not with uh, me and Copper Top. <laughs> Me Cowboy Top, uh, think he's got a good reputation, you know? Bye-bye. <laughs> sure enough. Yeah, I hope Rod's doing good, man. He's, uh, I, I thought by now he'd have that antenna up there and I'd be talking to him. But that cotton picker, man, he's just slow as molasses there, Brick. Okay, well, we've got this week. This week, He'll uh, get something done. All he gotta do is ask me, and I'll still be out there to help him. But uh, the weather's changing on this end. It's getting nice, and uh, I'm sure he'll do something before long. That I hope so. Cause if I happen to if I happen to travel back there to my brother-in-law's in Missouri, I may have to swing down there and and uh, poke him a little bit, get him to get it up there. But anyway, I'll let the band roll on. I heard somebody else uh, hollering out this way before you keep down there, so I'll I'll see what's going on here. Undercover, you take care, be good. Like I said, tell the pretty one, happy Valentine's Day, and I'll catch you again undercover. I'm stepping out of the way. Squeaker, hey, Squeaker, tell Undercover, one, two, three, said happy Valentine's Day coming up. Hello, Squeaker, Squeaker, one, two, three, Green Bay Lake, Chicago, there. I just wait for him to unkey. Hey, he fell down in the mix there, but uh, hey, undercover, if you still got a grip there, one, two, three, over there said great big happy Valentine's Day to you. Hope you're doing well, and I'm stepping out of the way. One, two, three. He said, right on back, man. He said, I hope you're doing well and swell. And I hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day, no doubt. One, two, three. You old squeaker, west side, seven. Yeah, this week, I'm in the pain of the street. 
appreciate you keeping that five in line. Those squeakers on a good up here around Chirac. One, two, three, Great Big Lake, Chicago. Good morning, good afternoon, wave breaker, breaker. Sure enough. Well, you fade in and out a little bit, you know, just Mother Nature coming in and out a little, but boy, when you're in, you're in like Flynn. One, two, three, take care, be good, I'll catch you again. I'm stepping right here. Appreciate the five pass in there and I'm gone.
Bob Hogan, while you up there doing your thing. Sneaker. Six in the cold lake, slave in the hand, now break. Uh, hello, Sweeker, Mr. Fonin. If I can get back in there, Six, I'll say great big top of the afternoon to you. Welcome to the week. Ain't no doubt about it, Six in the lake, so Squeaker out here. There, 45. Hey, 45, top of the day to you also. 45 up there and uh, working his spider box. And six in the lakes over there working his cold country. Squeaker out here on the west side and stepped on down. Hey, Well, Mother Nature let you in all by yourself that time there, no doubt. Six in the lake, so it was a pleasure. Appreciate the hauler out this way, and I'm back in these bushes. Hey, the pleasure on my speaker. I like hearing a good sign of radio station. Hey, speaker. It's like music to my ears. Take care, speaker. Six out. Well, I appreciate it. Hey, six, I appreciate it. Ain't nothing super fancy. It's just, uh, just a little work I did in progress, no doubt. Six, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Just a just a seventy three high com and seventy three hundred high com and a Old Antique Glenn from way back when. 43 years old, this cotton picker is, and it's stepping right on through. Try to do it again, it, but it was right down there in the bottom of the mix. 43, you take care. Oh, 45, you take care. Be good. I will catch you the next time it rolls on through. And I'm stepping right on down. With ease, right there. Look at that. They built this cotton picking thing 43 years ago, and I just can't believe it's that easy to run, and it just, it just, it's in like Flynn. <laughs> oh, the man up there in Sacramento when he built all this stuff sure was good at it, no doubt. Six, I'll catch you later. This antique Glenn from way back when, I just put it on down one more time. No key down time either, and I'm stepping. Hey, show and go, I heard you come in there tangled up for a little bit and then you poked on out. Top of the afternoon tea there, show and go, squeaker, west side of step. <laughs> This is a this is a custom built. It's it's not the, I got the only one in existence. It's a custom built three transformer four CX three thousand with the uh, with all digital stuff. 
scanners and digital gauges and uh, blinking lights. Looks like a Christmas tree there, Brain. Well, it sounded like it was done right, and that's just the way to have it. That's the only way to have it. It sounded like it was done right. If you ever want to get rid of that cat, nigga, you let me know. Squeak, we'll catch you later. Oh, show and go. Read the mail. Watch me go. Sure enough, there, show and go. Yeah, it's been around a long time. It was built in the 70s. It was built in 78, I believe, or 79. And then uh, it went to Texas, and it ran there for quite a while, and then when he passed away there, I got offered uh, to pick it up, and that's what I did. Didn't even know what I had until uh, Copper Top there come down and showed me how to run this cotton picking thing. Now it's ready to go. Like I said, I'm running at 40%. I don't run it very hard. I'm afraid to. It's kind of old. <laughs> like me. But anyway, you take care, be good, show and go. I'll step right on out of the way, let somebody else have some fun, and I'm listening.